Hello friends, Lightman here with a new series. This one I've been alluding to for a while and is coming up on 30 years in the making for me. While the titles to the videos will be Squeenix Quest, in these videos I will be referring to it by its true name, Fantasy Quest. Uh, the name's currently being used by a mobile game, but to me and my players, it's Fantasy Quest. Now, Viewers who haven't watched my Worlds Collide videos all the way to the end may now be asking, Lightman, what are you on about? Well, in a nutshell, Fantasy Quest is my magnum opus, a tabletop game based on and utilizing the mechanics of several video game series. Uh, Final Fantasy? Yep, all of them. Uh, Dragon Quest, the Chrono series, and the Mana series. Yep. That is well over 30 games when you count spin-offs, which I do for the most part. Well, plot-wise, my best and worst decision has been what I jokingly call the three-body problem. In many early Final Fantasies, there are either two worlds or two moons. So I decided, <laughs> why not both? Well. While the rest of the solar system hasn't been charted by me yet, and is beyond the scope of the game, the primary game worlds of Fantasy Quest are two planets that share a moon. Or, to the scientifically pedantic like myself, two larger inhabited moons that orbit a smaller but much denser planet in eccentric orbits. Terra is the world of what many would call classic Final Fantasy. Steampunk or higher technology, morally gray storytelling where the villains are the legitimate authority and the heroes are terrorists. Uh, uh, games that occur on Terra include uh, Dragon Quest 4 through 6, Final Fantasies 2 through 4, 6 through 8, 10, and 12 through 16. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics Advance and Vagrant Story, Final Fantasy Type-0, Bravely Default, uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, at least the World of Lapis, uh, Garland's World from Final Fantasy IX, the World of Final Fantasy, the World of Light from Final Fantasy Dimensions, and Goliath's World from Final Fantasy V. Gaia, on the other hand, is a world of high fantasy, where the heroes are chosen by fate, and the villains tend to be a demon lord. This is the world of Dragon Quest, uh, specifically Dragon Quest 1 through 3, 7 through 9, and 11. I'm not sure about 10. Uh, I have to look that one up. Uh, also, the Chrono series takes place on Gaia, uh, as do Final Fantasies 1 and 11, uh, Garnet's World from Final Fantasy 9, Bart's World from Final Fantasy 5, the World of the Crystal Chronicles sagas, uh, Seiken Densetsu, or the Mana series, at least the first three games, uh, Final Fantasy Legends 1 through 3, Mobius Final Fantasy, The Four Heroes of Light, the True Moon from Final Fantasy 4 The After Years is Gaia. Uh, as is the first world from Final Fantasy XIV, uh, Palladia from Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, and the World of Darkness from Final Fantasy Dimensions. Now for some related but different terms that I will be using in future videos. Note, these are not interchangeable. First, Machina versus Magitech. Technology, man-made machines. Uh, Machina uses purely mechanical systems, gears, pulleys, hydraulics, steam engines, etc. Machina functions in areas of low or no magic, like in Yagd, from Final Fantasy XII. Uh, Magitech, on the other hand, runs on Magicite or Mako energy and is directly magical in nature. It does not function properly in Yagd or near Nathasite. All these terms I will go over in future videos. Uh, speaking of Magitech, here are some related terms. Uh, Mako, exactly as described in Final Fantasy VII. 
concentrated soul or magical energy uh, usually collected by Mako reactors. Magicite. Concentrated Mako in solid form. These shards of magic grant normal people supernatural abilities and come in two main forms. Uh, manufactured Nethocyte. The far more common form, these are mined from uh, Magicite mines or created directly in Mako reactors and are sold in most large cities on Terra. Deaffected Magicite. This is Magicite created by the gods. The crystals, mana stones, the sunstone, and similar relics are deaffected Magicite. Materia. Uh, the crystallized remains of gods or great heroes. Uh, examples of materia include Vincent Valentine's proto-materia that allows him to become chaos. And yes, it is the chaos from Final Fantasy 1 and 12. Uh, now, what was called magicite in Final Fantasy 6? Uh, you know, powerful stones that let you summon espers and uh, learn magic? That's now called materia. Uh, the Holy Stones of Final Fantasy Tactics, these are essentially proto-materia, or deaffected materia. As mentioned, Vincent technically has the Holy Stone, or Stalazio, of Taurus, allowing him to channel the Esper Chaos Walker of the Wheel. Also, uh, class shards, crystal shards, dress spheres, basically any class in an item gimmick from any of the Final Fantasies, that's a form of materia. You commune with the spirit of a great hero and learn from them. Uh, there is much more to cover, including actual mechanics and an, ex an explanation of the sheet you've been seeing uh, as a slideshow throughout some of this video. Uh, all of that will be in future videos. Let me know in the comments which topics you're interested in hearing more about. The next video will be about basic mechanics and what I actually use from these games. Uh, all web pages shown are from my personal World Anvilist account for Fantasy Quest. And all text files and images are my own work. Uh, the character sheets that you are seeing now uh, are based on a D&D character bible by a good friend of mine and Fantasy Quest playtester, Joel Ivey. Well, with all of that said, look forward to maybe one or two videos on this a week for the foreseeable future. Until then, thank you for watching and have a good day.